Graduation season is almost over, but this graduation merits a special mention. Tonight, we put the spotlight on six young adults from NDG who've been given a second chance. Danielle Hamanjan has their story. One of them wants to become a rapper, another yeah. an auto mechanic. They differ in age, race and background and they'll admittedly say not too long ago none of them had any direction in life. Yeah, she really helped us out. I wasn't working, I was in debt with my old apartment and uh, wasn't doing much really, just trying to survive. About a year ago I was released from Cité des Prairies, a youth facility. Uh, I was incarcerated. And then Project Media came along. Simply put, the students are hired to learn new skills, nine to five, five days a week for six months. And we thought, what can we do? What's going on? How can we help the youth? And I wake up the next morning and I hear he's sh shot dead. This incident is what prompted the project, the murder of a 16-year-old boy in NDG. When that young boy got shot behind my house in the alley and I thought enough is enough. Enough kids falling through the cracks. It took a lot of pushing, a lot of networking and a whole lot of energy to get it off the ground. The only thing I could, um, could do on a computer is just turn it on. Together they've written and produced music. Because they will succeed. I know how to communicate with people, how to talk to people now in a good manner. Part of the bigger picture here is to bridge the gap between the different generations in NDG. It's been an inspiration to the elders to uh, mingle with the younger generation. Six young adults off to a new beginning. Danielle Hamanjan, CTV News.